Hey guys, this is the second video in the Python series and today we're going to be learning about strings. So the first question we should ask is what are strings? Strings, simply explained, are a group of letters uh, that are linked together. Um, so I'm going to jump straight into examples. So to assign strings in Python, we um, you would simply do it. So in the last lesson, we, we looked at variables and we know how to assign variables. Uh, to assign strings, we can, can simply do it this way. Let's say name equal. We can assign strings using either single quotes or, or double quotes. So, so, as, so as, as you can see here, uh, Anything, uh, anything between these two quotes is considered to be a string. I'm going to change this to hello. Let's say string equal hello. Well, you wouldn't name stuff strings. You'd say like it's a message. Hello. And, and if you want to print stuff, you would simply use the print method. Now I'm just, I'm simply going to run this code over here. You would run it by typing out python3 strings.py and it, and it prints out for us over here, hello. So, uh, so back in the beginning I said strings are, are simply a group of, uh, a, a group of letters. Uh, so in computer science, we express letters as as characters. So um, I have a basic image over here. So you have the string hello, but how the computer it it, it actually sees it, it's a group of letters or or characters. H E L L O. Um and now just ignore these numbers for a second. I'm I'm gonna come back to them. Come come back to but come back to them later. So uh, you, uh, you can also do this. Message two is going to be uh, world. Okay. So as you can see, here, I'm using single quotes and double quotes. So it's it's totally fine. Um. Now, now uh, another way of assigning strings is when you want to have multiple lines you, you can uh, you can do it with a you can write, write it with the triple quotes multiple let's say multiple line is going to be one two three one two three so it's going to be like that um, um, I'm, I'm going to indent it a little bit. This, this, ah, uh, this is a, got yeah, that, wait, give me a second. Okay, uh, give me one second, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to come back to this. So, uh, so as I was saying, to, the, to do multiple line quotes, you would simply use three quotes. And you would you, and then you would express them like that. This is this is the first line. This is the second line. This is the third line. Now, if, if you want to print this, it should come up to us. Over here, this is the first line, second line, and third line. Um, so also in this case, we can use single quotes or double quotes. Now, uh, now another thing that we can actually do is if I want to take a specific a specific letter, 
So as we know, strings are a technically a group of, of characters. Uh, we can easily do that by let's say if you want to if you want to print the uh, if you want to print the e in message, you would simply do it. You would print message, uh, and uh, and then we will have close brackets. Then we're gonna have it as one. So I'm 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 gonna ex explain it later, but uh, if if you can if you can see if I'm gonna run this code as you can see it printed out. So so how does this work exactly? So we have the string hello, which is H E L L O, and and in our in our number here we simply put the the, the, the position of E. In computer science, everything starts from zero, so uh, it's a zero base. Like you wouldn't count this one, two, three, four, five. You would count this as zero, one, two, three, four. So uh, e e is in position one. So so this is why uh, this is why we 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 put the one over here. I hope you guys understood this. Um. Another thing we, uh, we can we can also do is uh, we can s uh, slice strings. So slicing is going to be is going to look like that. Uh, it would simply be let's say I wanted I want string I want to print out e and till l. So I would go from one. Till uh, one, two, three, one till three, and if I if I save this, pi dot this things dot pi, it will go as e l no okay that's wrong four should be four e l l because it's sliced uh, one two three and, and 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 the fourth one is just out so so, so what it means here I want I want to slice from one out like this is sliced out two three and four is out so this is why it returns for me uh, ELL and 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 now speaking of, of, of indexes, we can also have a negative negative index. So if I want to if, if I if I want to print out O, um, I can simply do zero. No, I, I can simply do four or I can simply do message negative one so if, if if we run these this should be the same because four four is this position and ne negative one it would simply it would go back one it would go back one from here so it's eventually it goes back to here and this is negative two like if, uh, if, if I write this this is negative one negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. We could also say that. Okay. Um, now now let's say we want to we want to print message and, and message 2. Uh, we can easily do that using in Python simply by Having message plus message two. Hello world. But as you can see here, there is no spacing at all. So what we can easily do is we can add a space. We can have a like world plus space plus hello plus space plus world.
kind of work yeah Th this works and so so I'm, I'm gonna so another thing you can also do is you can now, now sometimes I'm gonna need to know that the length of some string let's say uh, if, if you're checking for passwords the, the the length of the password must be a minimum of six so to check the length of a string you, you will simply use the length function and you and you would put the, the, the string inside let's say I want to length of hello length of hello is five as it's um, so length it does not work as it, it's not zero based so it starts from one one two three four five it returns for us five now um, now I'm, I'm gonna be 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 adding some stuff gonna be the name equal timer run age equal 20 now uh, if we if if I uh, don't if we if we want to add these if, if I if I want to have a, like a sentence um, I'm going I'm going to be teaching you about about formatting so to format something we can use F and uh, and then inside this we, we can simply add my let's say my name is and I'll simply put name and my age and no and I am age years old so what, what does format do it's simply so 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 any curly braces you have uh, it would replace them with code so it would it would associate name with name and this age with this um, if they're not in curly braces and uh, this won't work it, it would sim it would simply print out name if we not name this okay name f is not defined okay f is not defined why is that f and und und undefined ah wait um uh, i i did i'm using okay i'm gonna come back then okay i'm back so i figured out the, the errors so it should be should be like that so should be like that now this should work uh, as like the my my id i was already highlighting these python three strings my name is Slenderman and I'm 20 years old. Okay, this wraps up the video. I, I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time.